Well, after the death of Jose Fernandez, some are questioning whether that area is safe for boating at night. We might think our monitor just turned off, but it didn't. This is video of that jetty at night with no lights on. Tonight, CBS 4's David Sutta takes a closer look. What you say about 50 yards right now? This is where Jose Fernandez's boat slammed into the government cut jetty. Hard to see is an understatement. Let's flip on four spotlights now. That's right, the jetty was right in front of you and you didn't even see it. This is a powerful illustration of just how different boating at night can really be. Most people stay home at night. Miami-Dade's fireboat crew took us out at night to show us what they see. Frankly, it's magical, quiet, surreal, and many boaters will argue the best time to be on the water. It's not crowded, but at the same time, it can be terrifying. History has shown that at night, yes, there's a lot of the accidents have been either an accident from a vessel running aground at night or running into another vessel at night. Usually it happens with inexperienced boaters during a holiday. They get caught in a dangerous situation like this. These two boats see each other and avoid a collision. But at night, it's often hard to make out what's coming and going. It's easy in these situations to lose a boat because a white light could be the headlights coming at you from South Beach and then you have the red light could be the tail lights and that's that easily you can lose it. In 2015, Florida Fish and Wildlife documented 737 boating accidents in Florida. Nearly half involved boats crashing into each other or fixed objects like pilings, docks and jetties. Sadly, Fernandez becomes another statistic, crashing into a wall of rocks he likely didn't see until the last second. When you, uh, when you look at something like this, what, what goes through your head? What, what do you think about? Sadness. Uh, it just, it's tragic that an easily avoidable accident occurred. And that's pretty much, you see the distance to where he would have been free and clear of the rocks. Senator Marco Rubio has made a formal request of the state and the Coast Guard to reevaluate the safety of government cut. The channel is marked with a series of markers that flash at night. Under general water rules, boaters use red markers to return to shore, green markers to guide you out. Stick between them and you should be safe. While thousands of boaters rely on government cuts markers without incident every month, is it enough? Especially with a majority of boaters in Florida having zero formal boating education. If you're an amateur and you don't know those different lights and you don't haven't taken a course that teaches you those lights, you can very easily create a situation that can be hazardous. He recommends you avoid boating at night if possible. If you do go, know your route, your instruments, and go slow. Driving slow, if you bump into this at a slow speed, yes, you might scratch your paint, you might get stuck, but you'll never cause bodily harm in any way and drive slow. If there's one thing you can take from this, boating at night is not to be taken lightly. We have safety tips on our website at cbsmiami.com. I encourage you to learn them. Even if you're not planning on night boating, it's good knowledge to have for just in case. Off of Miami Beach, David Sutter, CBS 4 News.